This is going to sound great. Hi, Sam from Guitar Village here, and today we're going to see if adjusting your action makes any difference to the tone. Now, you'll notice we've already got an amp set up down here. This is the Supro Royale. We need to go and grab a guitar, so let's pop out into the shop and choose one. All right, so we're upstairs in one of our high-end electric rooms. Initially, when I thought about doing this test, I was going to choose something like a, a custom shop Strat, something similar to that. But to be honest with you, I don't want to have to radius the strings on the saddles each time we adjust the action up and down. And they've got three pickups, I mean, I'll have to bring a ruler and do some extra stuff. Anyway, I've decided to go for one of the Les Pauls right behind you there. Now, I do like a lot of the custom shop we've got in, but actually I thought for this test we would go for a nice Les Paul standard. We're near for a standard 60s, I think let's grab this one in iced tea and check it out. Okay, so we are now back in the studio. We've got our gorgeous Les Paul that we chose. We're going to start doing some adjustments in a sec, uh, or some playing examples as well. Now, in order to make the adjustments, I brought a couple of tools down. So, we have this special tool. This will adjust the pickup heights. So, what we're going to try and do is, as we move the action up and down, we're going to move the pickup heights as well and measure them so they stay just as far away from the strings the whole time. We've got another tool. This is just our little adapter, and this will be doing the bridge height, so that will slot into there. We've also got something to check everything, our action height gauge, so we can make sure that the guitar is set up exactly as we want it for this test. So, let's get into it. Okay, so now we've gone for a super low, like, shred action, so let's have a listen to it. Right, so we have got the guitar set up with a regular action height. Now, this is kind of where we would set it up for the shop, which seems to work for most people. Okay, so now I've got this guitar set up for a high action. This, if we put it out in the shop like this, we often get customers saying, oh, can you drop the action for me? So let's see how it sounds. Okay, so the last setup we've gone for, this is like a, a really high action. This is roughly where we would set up like a really old cheap acoustic, you know, if it just, the neck was kind of worn out and, you know, you didn't want to do a refret on it. You know, you could set it up high just to get some clean, clean notes out of the thing. <laughs> Okay, so there were four different playing examples. We went from our kind of shop regular action to a, a super low. We then went to a high action, um, and then we went to the super high action, which was pretty uncomfortable to play, if I'm honest. Um, I'd love to hear what you thought. You know, tell us, can you hear any difference between those? Make sure you put it in the comments below. Personally, I didn't really hear much of a difference. Um, 
the higher the action went, I got a little bit more volume and a little bit more bass response out of the guitar, but you know, really it's splitting hairs. I think when it comes down to setting your action, firstly, get it to where it's comfortable for you. I mean, if you want to have really clean, clean sounding notes, obviously the super high action is going to help you. If you're playing something like a vintage Fender guitar where you've got a vintage radius, if you're bending up past the 12 fret and you want to do like tone and a half bends or tone bends, you know, you may want to have the action set just a bit higher just to keep that cleaner, but otherwise, really, I think it is splitting hairs. Anyway, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like the video and we'll catch you next time.